wanted to change the way customers look at mobile money. The penetration is extremely low, so we wanted to understand what are the issues, why is it that customers do not want to use mobile money. The situation we wanted to address was how do we help a provider really understand their customers and their agents so they can begin to address the real problems that are preventing the uptake of digital financial services that they offer. Human-centered design, you are designing with the people as opposed to just designing for the people. You need to understand the problem in its context and uh, you have to spend time with the people whom you're going to be solving the problem for, understand the problem from their point of view as opposed to just from your point of view. So from a bigger perspective, what we're looking to achieve is getting all the providers to understand the value that exists in this way of carrying out um, product development or engaging customers in building products so that whatever product is being developed for the market is actually relevant. We had identified early on, like many markets, that agent liquidity is a huge issue. And so quite often, agents writ large uh, have to bounce customers. And they either don't have enough cash on hand or they don't have enough e-float to service their customer. Where an agent will need to step out of their agent point, go to the bank and deposit. Of course, there will be a time lapse of 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the queues in the bank. That translates to loss of business. This is an issue that's rampant throughout Zambia, and this work with Airtel gave us an opportunity to address some of those issues in innovative ways. I was at one of the booths, I was carrying out a transaction. A fellow agent called the other agent and requesting for a transfer of float. And it was done within a minute or under a minute. That has uh, really helped us because some of us, we've not been going to the bank. We, could, we can just consult from other agents and uh, if we don't have cash, they, we, we just ask them, or oh, me, I don't have cash, or I don't have float, so we can just exchange and the business just go on. We used uh, some of these uh, placards to ensure that agents are able to display on the um, on the kiosks so that they indicate to customers that they are dealing in both deposit as well as withdrawals. Because customers were complaining that every time you go to withdraw, they will tell you that I'm not conducting withdrawal services, but I'm only doing deposits. This actually increased the number of customers that were able to, you know go to visit these agents and they understand that they can get these services. This is a book where we were recording from the time we opened our booth to the time we, we close. So it was easy for us to know how business is moving and how uh, the changes are happening in terms of float and cash. mini shop. A uh, mini shop is uh, for people who deposit money into their accounts. It's, it's really be small but it's closer to people. When first it was not really known just uh, before the promotion came. Then after the promotion at least people have been coming to deposit, to withdraw, open accounts. Ah, it was really busy. At least I made more deposits Many people came just about 50 came just that day. What excites me the most about a provider like uh, Airtel Money now is that because they have been able to see what this has done for them, because this has uh, fed into a lot of their strategy going forward. 
Um, I think it is something that they can strategically decide to, to take on as a way of doing things. They have a very interesting array of products that are available to their customers that make them an incredibly competitive competitor to others in the DFS environment. It's an eye-opener to us to say that sometimes you need to go out in the market. You need to interact with the final consumer. You need to sit down and design the product according to the way the customer wants them, not the way you want them as a business. So it's, it's, it's been a very good uh, project and partnership and we hope we can continue working with uh, UNCDF.